Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. So uh, today we're diving into something different. Uh, we are going to talk about the science behind uh, spear guns. I've always wondered how much power my different spear guns can actually deliver, but I never had the time to set up a proper way to measure it until now. So I set up a test to get some real numbers and compare the three most powerful spear guns in my arsenal. We're talking high speed footage precise measurements and a little bit of physics to calculate the speed, acceleration and impact forces. Let's now go into the details of all this. So first thing first, uh, let me explain a bit of the setup. We did this test in my pool to keep everything consistent. On one wall, we put a meter stick to measure how fast the shaft was moving through the water. To do that accurately, we used a high speed camera filming at uh, 1000 FPS to catch every little detail frame by frame. Six meters away from the start point, I placed a target made out uh, of a bodyboard foam and three layers of wood to simulate a bit of flesh and the bone of uh, a big pelagic fish. We also put a second meter stick near the target, about six meters from the tip of the shaft. Again, the high speed camera gave us super accurate speed measurements. Now this was a bit tricky. The camera lens created some distortion, making the shaft look bigger than it actually was. So to fix that, I took a screenshot of a frame that was showing the shaft and the meter stick. I imported in Rhino, which is my 3D modeling software, and scaled it to match the real size of the meter stick. Once I found the right proportion, I adjusted all our speed and acceleration calculation to account for the distortion. Pretty cool, right? Now, let's meet the spear guns we're testing today. First up, we've got my famous VA 115 Extreme, my most uh, powerful uh, reef gun, um, equipped with uh, four brand new bands and an 8.5 140cm uh, uh, double barb shaft. Next, uh, we have uh, the AV 130, uh, my first uh, tuna gun. Same deal, four brand new bands and an 8.5 times 160 centimeters double barb shaft. Finally, the AVE 130 Extreme. This is my new Hyper Tuna gun, a brand new gun that I am actually going through test uh, uh, in these days. It's loaded with five brand new brands, uh, bands and a huge 9.5 millimeters times 160 uh, centimeter shaft. I was pretty sure to find differences in speed at uh, uh, launch, uh, speed on target and impact forces. But how much I didn't know. But let me tell you something, the results were pretty surprising. Let's break them down. So here is how we did. We measured the speed of the shaft in four key phases. At the start, we calculated how fast the tip of the shaft accelerated over the first meter out of the muzzle. This gave us the kinetic energy at the muzzle, which we could compare to a real pistol. The second uh, phase is the tail speed. We checked uh, the speed at the tail of the shaft uh, to see if it stayed consistent or dropped right after uh, propulsion. The third phase is near the target. We measured the speed six meters out to see how much velocity each shaft was uh, losing in the water. And finally, the impact. We calculated the deceleration as the shaft went through medium density foam and then stopped against the plywood. That gave us the impact force in newtons. Now let's check out this uh, high speed uh, footage. You can see uh, the shaft is exiting the spear gun and moving through the water. It's super super slow and it's super super cool. Right away you'll notice the initial speed is pretty similar across all the three guns. But by the time we get to the target, the VA 115 Extreme is way slower than the AVE 130 Extreme. That tells a lot about how an extra band and a heavier shaft can affect the kinetic energy and impact force. All right, let's go into the numbers now. Here is the spreadsheet I put together after analyzing all the data. In the rows, we've got the three spear guns from the VA to the AVE Extreme, and then the four measurement uh, phases, step one, two, three, and four for each gun. In the columns, we've got uh, the number of frames, um, the delta T in seconds, 
the speed in meters per second, the acceleration and deceleration at the uh, um, exit of the muzzle and of course on impact. Um, here we have the shaft mass, here uh, the impact force uh, in Newton and the kinetic energy at the muzzle and the target. Let's now dig into details and analyze together these numbers. The first thing we notice, uh, even though the initial speed is almost the same for all three spear guns, the VA-115 Extreme is significantly slower at the target compared to the AVE-130 and the Extreme. Second thing, when we look at the impact force, the VA-115 Extreme has a little more than a half the force of the AVE-130 Extreme. But at the target, the VA-115 Extreme has only about a third of the impact force of the biggest spear gun. That's all down to the lower speed and mass. Now here's the fun fact. When we compare the spear guns to a 9mm bullet, we see something wild. At the muzzle, all three spear guns exceed the bullet's power, but at 6 meters, only the Yave 130 Extreme still delivers more energy than a bullet. And that is still very impressive. So what did we learn? Number one, spear gun pack a serious punch, especially at close range, the kinetic energy of a shaft can exceed a pistol bullet and even come close to a shotgun. Number two, spear guns lose a ton of power with every meter the shaft travel through the water and this is due to friction. The AVE 130 Extreme loses almost half of its speed in just six meters but still delivers a huge amount of power. The VA 115 Extreme is my go-to uh, for uh, reef hunting it's super maneuverable and perfect for chasing uh, doggies, but for big fish, you'll want to get closer. The AVE 130 delivers a solid impact power, but the AVE 130 Extreme, it's a beast. The shaft was always buried deep into the wood, proving just how much damage it can do on a bone, even at long range. I had a blast running this test, guys. They gave me a much better understanding of how much uh, my spear gun perform and I hope this helps you two guys to understanding a little bit the dynamic uh, of spear guns, right? So, as always, thank you for joining me on this deep dive into science of spear guns. I hope you weren't bored. I hope you guys uh, watched it to the end. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more experiments and underwater adventures. Don't forget also to come and see us uh, in our socials and if you have any comment, any uh, criticism, any idea, something that you wanted to add, if you want more tests, don't hesitate to write it here in the comment or write me, shoot me a message in my social media page.